The Fond Jaro Block. Like I said, a lot more of these came from. Hey, hey, hey there, everybody. It's Elsa here. Welcome you back to more Let's Play Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we arrived at the sub level 14 within the Hall of Heroes. But we got annoyed with the boss and the layout of the dungeon, so we decided to cut it there. But, friends, we are back. We defeated the majority of the, uh, the Dweevils here, so making this sub-level much easier for me. But, alas, we have completed our task, so let us descend further into the depths and see if this is not the final- Wait, wait, what? You're jumping in the water? Why are you jumping in the water? Why would you do that, Pikmin? That was an odd thing for the Pikmin to do, just all leap into that hole full of water. But, alas, what do we have here? Final floor! <laughs> Indeed, friends, we did cut it off at the final sub-level. Quite poor timing on my part, but I don't care for alas, I'm saying alas too much. For alas, we say alas too much. I don't know why, friends, I'm just, I'm in a very alassy mood. Ooh, a purple potion. Let's just grab that. I think we don't need to glitch that. We have 12 of them now. That's quite a bit. But yes, friends, how are you all doing today? I have no one that is being uploaded, so I can't ask you how you're doing on this fine insert day of the week here. I am doing swell. I am recording on a Saturday night. No, Sunday night, I should say, actually. It's a Sunday night. I just recently finished watching the Olympics closing ceremony as well. Um, it was a bit interesting. Lots of dancing. It seemed like a really crazy party going on for everyone, so it seemed like a big old rousing time to be had. I kind of wish I was there. It sounded like a lot of fun. Dancing the night away. But let's see what we have here. Hmm. This is a very wide room filled with jelly floats. Pfft. Jelly floats ain't got nothing on me, yo! Alright. Let's take these guys out in the classiest of style. Let's use yellow Pikmin for height and purple Pikmin for power! Because we got the power! Oh yeah! But yeah, yes, anyway, guys. Uh, for those of you who watched the episode of Sam, what did you think of it? I thought it was pretty interesting, to say so myself. Before, it's like a giant dance party. It seemed like everyone was having a rousing time there, dancing the night away. Like we are right now with these jelly floats. Dance! Shake jelly float. Oh yeah. Do a little sucky dance. I don't really sound kind of dirty, but it doesn't matter. They're doing it anyway. Do the jelly float dance. Do the jelly float night away. Do the jelly float night away. Jelly float purple. Killers of purple. Kids of jelly float night away. I don't even know why I'm saying that song, friends. It's probably because I'm crazy right now. I'm doing another late night recording session, and you know what happens when I record in the evening. I say useless things that don't mean anything. Yes, friends, it will happen. It's basic fundamental rules of recording. If you record at night, you are bound to be more ridiculous. I don't always say stupid things when I record, but I don't always say stupid things, but when I do, it's usually when I'm recording. Especially at night. Ah. This isn't much of a boss fight here, friends. It just gives us one of the very simple jelly float enemies to defeat, but I don't think they're very difficult to kill. Although they are one of my favorite, probably my favorite enemy in this game. They look really, really cool. I really like the way they look. But in fact... Uh, last but not least... Let's finish this whole bastard off. He never even saw it coming, did he? Well, friends... We've eliminated the all potential threats in the area. Room clear. Olimar, you are free to enter. Which is kind of ironic, because Olimar probably should be doing that for the president. Pfft. How shameless of you, Olimar. Not fulfilling the duties of your captain for his president. You should be ashamed of yourself, sir. Anyway. Let us do this the classic way. Firstly, no, I don't need lights. Why it's not very helpful for me for this. Let me gather my, uh, my strike force here. Got my strike force going on. Strike force. Oh. Fine, and a ball A little ball uh, No, ball can go to Strike Force. They deserve it. Have these supporter guys to stick back here, and allow me to introduce you to the boss of the Hall of Heroes. Boom! He's a big boy! Meet the Raging Long Legs, or at least I believe that is what he is known as. He is pretty much, in fact, he's entirely the exact same boss fight. Oh. Watch yourself there, Mr. Ragey Legs. That's what I like to call him, he's Mr. Ragey Legs. But, like I, oh, that was a terrible display of fighting. 
But anyway, as I was trying to say many times before this, he is a pretty much the identical fight to that of the Beady Long Legs that we just recently fought in the last episode. Alright, if I can... Oh! God, he is a bit scarier though. He does have much larger feet. But anyway, let's get a little bit of damage off on him. Not a lot, but... Oh! That was interesting. I'm trying to trigger a particular event. In fact, actually, let us increase this process. Let us expedite this process. I do think that is in order. In order to make this process a little less painless. He's a very annoying fight. He has many... He seems to be stomping more than I expected to do, but let us get some good damage off of him. There we go! And anyway, watch the rage ensue. Yes, this is the only difference between him and the B long legs. After a round of attacking, he proceeds to stomp at a much faster pace than the B long legs himself did. Hence his name, the Raging Long Legs, or at least confident that's what his name is. So essentially, this is the entire fight, friends. It's nothing special, nothing fancy, just a good old fashioned slugfest! Let me get the hell out of there. Yes, whenever he shakes off a Pikmin squad that we assault him with, he proceeds to be very angry about it, which is understandable. I do not blame him for being so angry. Ah, no, what I was supposed to do there, I was supposed to leave them on. That's the trick to being successful in this fight, is to get greedy. No, we're not going to get greedy. We're going to get a little bit greedy. There we go. Get, up. get out of there, boys. Get out of there. Oh, there we go. Hold on now, just in time. We are not here to destroy ourselves in the process, but we are here to only achieve maximum success. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. That is that is how you win this fight quickly, friends. Come on, get out of there, boys. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, you little Jeffrey. Where are you going, Jeffrey? Oh! My God. Oh my god, friends! That was horrifying. I was stunned and could not move. Olimar was crushed by the raging flames, but not a single Pikmin. Wow, that was a close fight there, friends. What a, what a fantastic way to end off the dungeon. I do say so myself. Oh, wow, a lot of Pikmin are needed for this. Okay. Well, Reds, you're helping the Weiss this time. You typically are not tasked with this job, but today you will be. Wait, my nose for a second. I'm just running. I don't really see why I would be running, I'm not sick. It's perhaps because I'm recording in my cold basement. I always record in my cold basement, so I don't see why that would make any difference. Not at all. Not, not, not at all. Not at all. Why am I saying this? You're just so weird, man. Let us see what we have here. Oh, doesn't he look familiar? Remembered old buddy, classic Nintendo character for those of you who might not have seen him back in the day. Maybe could have seen him in the Super Smash Bros. Brawl. This is the head of Rob the Robot and a clever little acronym, Remembered Old Buddy, R-O-B, Rob. You probably could put that together yourself, but hey, I'm just here to help. Anyway, with that, the dungeon is cleared, so let's leave this dreadful place and hopefully we shall never have to return. Let us see how we did. We lost 24 Pikmin in the process, good lord, and we got a cave completed though, so that is worth it in the long run. In fact, I was practicing this dungeon earlier to finish it off for your particular recording session, and I lost over 40 Pikmin on the Raging Long Legs because I was greedy, and this is why you cannot be greedy when fighting him, because he absolutely destroys you if you do not take your time and be careful. But anyway, we are returned to the Wistful Wild for probably one of the last times. Because, as I sit here waiting for the day to be over, and actually, here's what I'll do. I'll go leaf up some, or flower up some Pikmin real fast, just to be at the time to do so. But anyway, this is probably the last uh, actual night we'll have here in the entire series. In fact, my friends, Pikmin 2 is almost over. We are so close to being done. That was the second to last dungeon in the entire game. Meaning that the last dungeon we're going to go to, which we will begin this episode, my friends. Yes, the last dungeon will begin this episode. Wait, where did four of my pictures go? Huh? Wait, how did I lose? Oh, that's weird. Awesome Pikmin. Whatever. Anyway, as I was trying to say, 
This is, in fact, the last time we'll be seeing this countdown, because we are starting the last dungeon in the game this episode, friends. Yes, Pikmin 2 is almost over, and to be honest, that's good, though. That's a, this series has been dragging. I apologize for the fact that I have not uploaded frequently enough for this series. That and Donkey Kong Country both have been terrible, terribly, terribly uploaded. But, alas, I say alas again, because I say too much. We shall remedy that, hopefully, with my next project. And <laughs> Gratling Groinks trying to destroy my ship. Unfortunately, my ship is made of gold, so apparently it is immune to the Gatling Groinks' explosive nose blasts. Maybe. Yes, this is the last, one of the last times we'll be going back up into the sky, friends. The last time we'll be getting our funds earned, Paige. And the last time we'll be seeing how many people have died. <laughs> anyway, email, who do we have from? No, yeah, you didn't well. You were more, you were quite skinny, so I made you clean your plate. Be sure to cook this piece of food before you eat again. Thanks, Grandpa. Well, last time we're gonna be saving no This is so sad. <laughs> but anyway, enough time for crying because this is the last time we'll be ascending up to the sky. As you can see, perplexing pool, 100%. Valley of Repose, 100%. The Awakening Wood, 100%! And the Wistful Wild, missing one dungeon and one above ground treasure. Friends, we are almost done this series. Before we go to the Wistful Wild, though, I would like to do one thing. I have yet to go to the Piclopedia! Yes, friends, the Piclopedia, the classic, hilarious entry system in which all of the enemies we've encountered and the wildlife, I guess we can also say, are cataloged in entries that are made by Olimar. Let's let's pick a classic one just to get an example off the Red Ball Orb. Let's see what we got here. Red Ball Orb, Oculus Kageyami Rusus. Oh, that's interesting. Grub Dog Family. This large organism has the familiar mandibles and cranial morphology of the Grub Dog Family, as well as the characteristic bulging eyes. As with most Grub Dogs, the character's cranium comprises half of its total length and girth, showing a scarlet abdomen with white spots. This creature is primarily nocturnal, choosing to prey upon some other creatures from returning to their nests. Occasionally, originally classified as the Spotty Ball Orb, further research has reclassified the species as the Red Ball Orb. Subspecies of varied colors have recently been discovered, but academics have divi are divided into two rival camps over how to handle their classification. Yeah, a little dry for you guys. I don't know. Being a biology major, that sounds kind of cool for me. I kind of like these a lot, but that is me. I, I'm a nerd in that sense. But anyway, that's typically going to be your uh, your example. There are some funnier ones. Off the top of my head, I can't actually remember which ones they are. Well, let's read the Jared's Spot Jellyfish, just because it's interesting. Let's see what he has to say about this. Vivid pink coloration is the most noticeable characteristic of this floating life form. The immigrant species is not native to the region, having appeared to recently arrived on wind currents. Luminous and organ on his head tracks prey, which is then sucked up and consumed its lower orifice. Unlike jellyfish, the jelly floats tentacles do not have nematosis. Oh, those are the uh, oh, those are the those are the stingers that the jellyfish have that sting us. Oh, that's that's a little interesting bit, old Mar. I'm glad you know all about that. Oh, uh, Wally Wog. But let us see here. The funny things, the funny ones, the things that people like about it. Oh, let's read that. Let's do that one. Let's set them in the water right now. All those known about this creature stems from a few sightings deep underground. All reported sightings feature the same core set of details. A giant, vicious form with a clear, hazy sheen, unlike hard candy. One theory holds that it may be the ectoplasmic incarnation of a kind of psychic phenomenon, but it is usually the case with such theories. It is very difficult to prove. All witnesses report being suddenly overcome with fear upon sighting the creature, urging a state of panic and near insanity. In fact, every report contains an internet and yet, an inordinate amount of extremely vague details, which has led to suspicions that exhaustion and fear may have some sort of phenomenon to be viewed as a living creature. How accurate is that? That is that is hilarious. They knew that when they put this guy into this game, people were going to react to him like that. And that is just priceless, priceless, priceless play on Nintendo's part. But anyway, as I was trying to say, one thing that people love about the Wikipedia is after you've completed the game, which on this file I have, currently don't hold a file, which I have 100% of the game, but I have 100% of it before, you gain access to a different type of notes. As you can see, with the Y button, we can access Louis notes. Let's pick an interesting enemy and see what Louis has to say. Let's pick, oh, let's pick the, let's put the Gatling Groink. You know Louis to be the, quite the, uh, the gourmet he is, but let us see what he has to say about the Gatling Groink. Remove the cannon and ammo stockpile, then vigorously tenderize the meat with a heavy mallet. Stir fry with caramelized onions and figgit figwort sprouts. Spoon over a steaming bowl of fluffy white rice and douse with chili sauce. 
Yes, Louis is always going to be the absolute food maniac he is. Louis's notes all contain proper ways to cook, prepare, and eat the enemies in which we killed in this game. In fact, there are some that are absolutely hilarious. Like, how about the volatile retrieval? This scorching species combusts upon contact with the tongue, only edible by the adventurous and asbestos tongued. Quite the hilarious part. In fact, there's there's one plant that Louis comments. Is it close down? <laughs> Inedible. Known effects include uncontrollable episodes of impromptu break dancing. If only there was food that made us break dance on spontaneously. Or the water wraith. Inedible. Known to cause mass hysteria followed by leg spasms and internal thundering. That sounds kind of disturbing. What about the raging long legs? What do you guys say about them? Neither boiling nor baking can diminish this creature's overpowering musky scent, only suitable for serving to unpleasant in laws. Oh, Louis, you sadistic fool. There's one more that I'd like to read. It's, um, I want to say it's the giant bread bug. It's pretty funny. Let's do that one. Although cooking is colossal beast, yields a mountain of meat. Every ounce of it is flavorless, only suitable for intergalactic all-you-can-eat buffets. Oh, God. But anyway, there's a ton of these things in here, and some of them are way funnier than others. But there's a couple little, little cool facts in here. So if you guys want to see me come back to this, maybe at the end for just a little side note at the conclusion of the LP, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about that, because there's a t let me know which entries you'd like me to read. But anyway, enough of that. We have things to accomplish. Things to do and things to see. Places to go, enemies to kill, friends. Yes, the last time we shall be viewing this menu in an effort to acquire more treasure. Let us descend one final time into the wistful wild. And here we are, friends. But the first thing we must do... Remember how I would spend all that time collecting 100 purple Pikmin? Well, friends, here comes the time for which those purple Pikmin will do their job, do their do, and acquire my love and affection. Remember that giant treasure out front that required 100 purple Pikmin to lift? Well, my friends, here comes the time for which that's going to be achieved. 100 purple Pikmin are the only, the only way, the only possible way to acquire this treasure. There's no other way to do so. Obviously, because purple Pikmin can lift the weight that of 10 Pikmin, so it would only make sense. Come on, boy, you gotta help it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Every single one of you needs to be doing his job. God dang it. It pulls me off and just throw you on there. So it seems you're all a bit too special to figure it out on your own. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Where's the last Pikmin? Oh my god, that's where you are. Oh my god. The Jeffrey. The one and only Jeffrey. You, oh, you never cease to amaze me, Jeffrey. You never cease to amaze me. Anyway, look at that hilarious little... Uh, Ring of awkward purple flowers with a couple leaves in between. There he is. Look at that, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, you are useless to me. Anyway. So, friends, this is going to take about a quarter of the day. I'm not kidding you. Obviously, you can see from the fact that these purple Pikmin are moving at about the pace of a snail. So, rather than sit there and let's make you watch these guys carry this treasure all the way back to the ship, we are going to be doing a massive cut. Just to get this thing back in here as quickly as possible and expedite this episode to begin the dungeon. Begin it! I want to end it. I want to begin it. Beginning of the end, friends. It's coming. It's coming to a close. It's so beautiful yet so sad. Anyway, friends, I'm going to be cutting to when this thing gets returned to our freaking ship. I'll see you all in a bit. Doomsday Apparatus. Clearly, 3,000 Pocos is probably the most expensive treasure in the game. Anyway, took you guys damn long enough. Anyway, let us continue with the day, friends. Let us begin, because we have a couple minor things I'd like to do before we enter the dungeon. So we have a lot of time left in this day. So we should spend it doing something productive and slightly useful. So let's gather our Pikmin numbers. Oh, yes, we need one red. We're bringing in one Pikmin color tip. Yeah, we're bringing in one type of each Pikmin into this dungeon. One. F total of five Pikmin, guys. We're taking hardcore mode right here. Hardcore mode. We're going ball to the walls, hardcore mode. I th in fact, I remember there being like a, um, what was it? It's like a Pikmin challenge thing where it's like you can only use a certain number of Pikmin. I think it's like 47 or something like that. We can only use like 47 Pikmin the entire. Where's my extra? 26 reds. We don't need 26 reds. 
No, no 27 reds either. That's also a bad number for me. Anyway. Get in there, and then I guess we'll just fill out the rest with blue. Wait, do I have to reach Pikmin? <gasps> no, I don't. I'm missing... Wait, wait, what? I'm just gonna... Wait, where am I? Oh, 25 reds. Anyway. That's what I was trying to say. Yes, I believe there's like a Pikmin challenge where it's like, you can only use a certain number of Pikmin. It's like 47 or something like that. I don't know the exact number, but I remember there being something like that and mentioned to me before in the past. Anyway, there we go. We have all... No, boys, boys, we have things to do. We're going to spend the majority of the rest of this day acquiring the berries from this berry tree, or the berry trees, right in the middle of the, uh, the map right here. Considering we are going to be needing as much potion as possible, much red potion, I should say, as possible, I'm insisting that we spend the rest of the day doing so. But I'm going to be cutting most of that out. Once we finish clearing the trees and making them spawn, I think I'm just going to cut until... Um, we are officially running low on time to make sure we get there with as much time as possible. Not much time as possible, but get there in the nick of time. Just with enough time to spare on the plug. But anyway, one thing I was actually going to say, too, I actually pointed this out yet either. In fact, I was doing a terrible job with pointing out things in this episode. I was going to say, because I noticed I almost had 20 um, Pikmin of each color. In fact, it's a little Easter egg where if you have 20 Pikmin of each color, the Pikmin actually hum a little song together. I don't really. I don't know how I can show that right now. I might show these things at the end, just like a little Easter egg bonus thing. I don't really know. I don't know if I'll do that. I think a lot of guys who do LPs of this game show that particular little uh, funny little Easter egg there. But um, if you want to show it, once again, write in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a little bonus episode thing where I do and show off a couple of funny little doodads that I didn't show off in the actual videos. So I can do so I know for you guys. Because I don't know what you guys want to see. You might even want to see something a little extra. Come on, kill him. There we go. Kill little wormy guys so they don't eat my berries. Alright, there we go. Okie dokie, friends. Now that we have spawned all of the berry trees, I'm simply going to be spending the rest of this day gathering said berries in preparation for the final dungeon. So, friends, until then, I will see you in the final countdown of the day. I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, friends, we have acquired an additional three red potions with the timer on the day running down. It's almost sunset on our final day on the surface. Well, friends, before we enter the dungeon, I guess I'd like to kick things a little, thing off a little early. Oh, wait, might have, I might have spoke too soon. We still got an enemy to kill. I just wanted to say before things really get underway that I'd like to thank everyone for all the support so far that I've given you throughout the... This project. It's been an absolute blast to play this game with you guys. It's been an absolute blast to have me grow with you guys and share this experience with everyone. And I'll continue this uh, thank you in a bit. We gotta find the dungeon first. Ten seconds left of the day. Oh my god. Perhaps you will find Louie in here. And yet, my CPU is on edge. Ludicrous dangers await. Beast lurk at the bottom of this deepest, darkest, most foul, sinister, horribly vile pit. Do you still wish to enter? Of course you do. Courage is your... Courage is our true treasure. Said in the right over fashion. But anyway, friends. Introductions are in order. Say hello to the final dungeon. The Dream Den. 21 total treasures. All four types of hazards inside. It is the hardest dungeon and the longest dungeon in the game, friends. With the final boss lying at the bottom for us. And hopefully Louie as well. Shall we enter? I think so. I think it's about time. But anyway, friends. That's all I was trying to say. Thank you all for being a part of this project with me so far. Thank you for keeping with me for just a little bit longer. This series is almost over, my friends. It's almost done. Only a couple more episodes. But in the next episode of Let's Play Pikmin 2, we shall begin things off in the final dungeon, the Dream Den. If you haven't done so already, feel free to follow me on Twitter or add me on Skype. Either or make me the happiest camper in the world. And with that, friends, I will see you in the next episode. I hope you're all having a fantastic day.